You're watching Fox Carolina News, the local station. Tonight, a small upstate town is remembering one of their own. The Pendleton Fire Chief passed away this morning after battling cancer. Bobby Pruitt had been with the department for more than 50 years. And those who worked with him say he gave so much to Pendleton, which was also his home. Fox Carolina's Jarvis Robertson live outside the fire department tonight with more on how everyone is holding up. And uh, Jarvis, I've seen a lot of stuff on social media today. This man impacted a lot of folks in that community. Oh, no doubt about it, Cody. I can tell you this has been a tough day for the Pendleton community. I can tell you a lot of family friends have been stopping by here, the fire department, just to be around each other. I can also tell you that other firefighters from around Anderson County have been stepping up, helping out this small department as, as they grieve the loss of Chief Bobby Pruitt. Now, tonight, I can tell you everybody's remembering him as a person who loved Pendleton. I just couldn't get there quick enough. I just wanted to see him before he went, you know. Heavy hearts for the Pendleton community as they grieve the loss of Fire Chief Bobby Pruitt, who had been with the Pendleton Fire Department since 1967. He's uh, been a member for 52 years. Uh, shortly after he started, he became the captain. And served as Pendleton's Fire Chief for the last 16 years. Through his time here, he earned a reputation as someone who cared much for this small town, which is also his home. He provided for the elderly, the sick, the hurt. He was always there just to help anybody in any way he could. Unfortunately, Chief Pruitt's health couldn't hold up any longer. Firefighters tell me he spent nearly four weeks in the hospital and was moved under hospice care this past Monday. He lost a battle to renal cell cancer. I asked Assistant Fire Chief Anthony Hamby what firefighting meant to Chief Pruitt. Family, brotherhood, taking care of the community, giving back to others. That's what he taught all of us. And those lessons are sure to be echoed in this community. There's about 30 guys here on this roster now that have all been mentored by him. They've all been led by him, and he will leave his mark through the people that he leaves behind. A person that many looked up to will now be memories in their hearts. He was a giving soul and couldn't give enough. Now, Chief Pruitt's funeral is scheduled for this Friday. It's going to take place at the Homeland Park Baptist Church. Uh, the services will start at 2 o'clock. 9 until 12, there will be an open viewing, and 12 until 1, family will be receiving friends and family. And also, after that, following the service, there will be a procession to the gravesite, which is going to be at Forest Lawn, which is for firefighter gravesites. Mm -hmm. Reporting live in Pendleton tonight, I'm Jarvis Robertson, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news.